Welcome back to Trash Panda Sports. Today we have, uh, looks like what was a bunch of rack packs, uh, 1993 Tops Baseball. Uh, looks like whoever the distributor or seller was might have cut them down into smaller packs, uh, but rack packs usually came uh, three to a pack. So we got a bunch of these to open today. The holy grail of this uh, this series was the Derek Jeter rookie card. Uh, I am not a Yankees fan, but who can deny the nostalgic and iconic levels uh, that Derek Jeter holds in the game of baseball, especially with the Red Sox-Yankees rivalry. Uh, and I am a huge Red Sox fan. So we're going to get into these packs and hopefully we land a Jeter rookie card, which I will then obviously sell uh, to diversify more portfolio because I have no reason to keep a Yankee. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into these packs. Looking for a Jeter rookie card. I believe in this year there was also uh, Jim Edmonds, Chipper Jones. Uh, so there's some other guys that we can land, uh, but let's be realistic the valuable cards and there's multiple because there's multiple uh variations of the g to rookie card in this year uh dave fleming mickey tuttleton so uh you have a chance at landing a bunch of different ones that are uh, worth a bunch of different marquise grissom doug henry vince horseman ryan sandberg kurt minowang uh, John Crawford, oh, there we go, a Griffey Jr. That's one of the cards that's worth like, I don't know, like 10, 15 bucks if it's in good condition. Uh, I mean, pristine condition, not good. Derek Bell, Scott Erickson, uh, Ron Karkavice, and Julio Valera. So in the first little pack here, we end up pulling, uh, I don't know, like a $10 card, maybe if it's a 10. Um, but <laughs> nowhere near what a, a Derek Jeter rookie card is going to bring in. So I didn't pay that uh, that much for these because um, obviously there's only like one card in this entire series that's worth anything. So you can usually get packs rather cheap. Mike Stanley, Daryl Kyle, Mikey Benjamin, John Olerud, Dave Stewart, Paul O'Neill, uh, Dan Walters, Craig Colbert. Jose Guzman, uh, Juan Guzman, back-to-back -back Guzmans, really. Pat Kelly, Bill Gullickson, Russ Swan, and Mark Portugal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's tough to find this Jeter rookie card, so the chances that we're going to land it are slim to none. But it's fun to try, right? There's no... Uh, oh, look at that. See, there, there is a 92 draft pick, Preston Wilson. This is exactly what the Jeter card is going to look like. Okay, you got the green background like that with the draft pick. And then it would obviously be Jeter and not Preston Wilson. But it, it's a good sign that we at least pulled a draft pick already. Hippolito Ricardo, Lee Smith, Gary Sheffield, Jeff Fry, Felix Jose. Oh, look, another one. Todd Stevenson. Frank Thomas, he's always iconic. Tom Godwin. Roger, the Rocket. Oh, look at this. We're pulling draft picks left and right now. <laughs> Sean Lowe, man, I'm I'm uh, starting to get antsy thinking about this Jeter card. Wally Joyner, Dan Plezak. All right, so uh, getting some draft pick cards all of a sudden. So that makes me feel a little, a little bit better. I mean, hopefully one of them is a Derek Jeter which I will then shamelessly sell uh, to buy more cards because I don't want to keep a Derek Jeter rookie card. Even though it's probably going to go up in value. The guy's a legend. He is an icon. Uh, I just will not keep a New York Yankee uh, when it's worth that much. Thomas Howard, Charlie Hayes, Pat Borders, Scott Ruskin, Scott Scudder, Cal Daniels, Bobby Bonilla. Mets are still paying that guy to this day. Isn't that crazy? Jesse Orozco, Bill Bulling, Jim Bullinger, Darren Dutch Dalton, Spike Owen, Pete Hanish, Carlos Baerga, and Doug Desenza. I remember Baerga, he came up through the Buffalo Bisons uh, farm team for the Indians, and then he was on that Indians team that almost won the World Series. Came very close. All right. Oh, here we go. It looks like the same pack as last time, though. We got Preston Wilson right on top. 
Uh, Jeremy Hernandez, Pudge Rodriguez. And there you go again with uh, Stevenson. Lloyd McClendon, Sean Lowe again. So the draft picks are repeating. Hippolyta Ricardo, Tommy Glavin. Oh, my God. We got it. Here we go. Derek Jeter, 1992 draft pick rookie card. What an omen is that, huh? I mean, uh, uh, that is ridiculous. I spent like $10 on these packs. Oh, my God. Oh, I am just enamored right now. This is fan. This is by far the best card. Well, the Ronnie Lott rookie was close, but uh, here's the problem. Now, this is the baseline rookie. This doesn't have the uh, inaugural either the Marlins or the Rockies inaugural stamp on it. <laughs> so, if it's a ten, which centering uh, makes me a little weary. A 10 would be worth 450 plus. If it's not a 10, it drops significantly. So, I mean, obviously I got my money back. And if it's not a 10, it's something I'm just going to hold on to until it increases in value. But wow, look at that beauty. I, uh, I'm i just in awe right now that I pulled it. This is uh, besides the Ronnie Lott rookie, which is obviously a lot probably more rare and older. Derek Jeter, rookie card. I am so happy right now. Obviously, I just ran the card into the camera. So, wow. I, uh, whew. All right. So, back to it. Another Frank Thomas rookie. Or, not rookie. Another Frank Thomas card. See, I'm, I'm flustered right now. BJ Wallace, Damian Easley, Lee Smith, and Gary Sheffield. Wow. Like, I just, I'm, I'm still in awe. I can't believe I pulled it. Uh, this is what happens. You go bargain hunting on eBay, you find some old packs, and uh, you get them for next to nothing, and you pull a Jeter rookie. I mean, we still got a bunch of these to open, too. I'm uh, Now I'm starting to feel like uh, I'm manifesting another one to pop up. Maybe one of the inaugurals, huh? What do we say? Darren Dutch Dalton. Spike Owen. Pete Hanish. There's our boy by Erga again. Dougie Desenzo. John Smoltz. Jim Lairitz, Roberto Alomar, that's a great action pick. That that defines what Robbie Alomar used to do. He was just a tough player. Mel Rojas, Ricky Bones, Paul Sorrento, Mike Bilecki, Pete Cavilia, and Matty Williams. All right. Man, I am just adrenaline rushing right now. Today's been a very good day. Uh... Finally, the barbershops reopened, uh, so I was able to go get a haircut. Uh, you know, everything's been closed. Uh, patios are open for dining again uh, after this COVID-19 stuff. So it's it's sun shining and beautiful outside. It looks like it's going to be a great day. I had off of work, and now I'm busting some cards open, and I find a Jeter rookie. So all is great. Tony Gwynn, Gary DeSarcenza, Brooke Jacoby, Doug Jones, Jay Howell, Thomas Howard, Charlie Hayes, Pat Borders, Scott Ruskin, Scott Scudder, Cal Daniels, another Bobby Bo, still getting paid to this day, Jesse Orozco, and Jim Bullinger. All right. All right, we got four left. Hoping on another Jeta rookie card. I would be, I'd be livid if it happened again. I'm already livid. <sighs> Brian Hickerson. JT Bruett, Todd Stottlemyre, Jose Uribe, Omar Vizquel, Jeff Bagwell. It's like a second year. Oral Hirschheiser, Bob Patterson, Luis Alicea, Harold Baines, Doug Linton, Jeff Groteward, Roger Pavlik, and Cesar Hernandez. Okay. Three left. Man, I'm still like adrenaline rushing right now. Uh, it's good, you know. You, you open so many, and then you finally you finally hit, and it feels good. Ruben Amaro, Otis Nixon, Kenny Lofton, rookie. I love Kenny. Cards ain't worth much, but this was one of my favorite players. This is that Indians team that almost won the World Series. Man, they were pretty good. Kenny Lofton, rookie. Jody Reed, Mike Maddox, Kyle Abbott, Frank Seminara, Mark Hitton, Mark Witten. Craig Gerbeck, Mark Gardner, Butch Henry, Travis Fryman, Tony Phillips, and Luis Gonzalez. 
All right, two left, two left. Let's get something, come on. Like I said, I'm not going to complain either way, but wouldn't it be great to see two Jeter rookie cards opened in this video? I would feel great about it. Mm. Todd Burns, Doug Drabeck, Wes Chamberlain, Kirk McCaskill, Trevor Wilson, Rusty Meacham, Mike Munoz, Jack, Black Jack McDowell, John Keeley, Xavier Hernandez, Juan Gonzalez, Scott Ch Champarino, Dan Pasqua, and Mike Scuola. We are down to one. Last pack of the 1993 Tops baseball cards. All right. Oh, and we have a Jason Kendall rookie. So we got more draft picks in here. This is this gives me a a sign that maybe that could be another G in here. Jason Kendall, I remember him. Riel Cormier, Gino Petrali, Fred the Crime Dog McGriff, Dan Serafini. Jeremy Hernandez, Tom Glavin again. What year is that for Glavin? Steve Finley, Franklin Stubbs, Joe Cotta. Nope, definitely not a Jeter, but who is it? Rick Green, Lloyd McClendon again, Eddie Tabanese, and Howard Johnson. All right. So we ended up pulling uh, two, uh, one great cad, Derek Jeter, a rookie. I'm still like floating on cloud nine about this one. Uh, and then we pulled a Griffey, which is not a bad card either. All Griffey cards are pretty great. Uh, Kenny Lofton, rookie, and then Jason Kendall. I'm not sure that's worth anything, but whatever. But wow, uh, like I said, best pull besides that Ronnie Lott rookie. Um, this card's in great shape. Not quite sure it's a 10. It looks a little off in centering, uh, but perhaps a 9. Uh, we'll definitely be sending it for grading uh, when I send off my cards. But, man, am I pumped. That's just, wow. Uh, so you saw it here, Trash Panda Sports, uh, Derek Jeter rookie card pull uh, from a 1993 Tops Baseball Rack Pack opening. Uh, Trash Panda Sports, remember, subscribe, like, comment, and share. We're going to start giving away some cool stuff. As always, uh, if you saw any cards in the video that you're interested in, hit me up. I'm sure we can either work a trade uh, or a sale or something. Um, but remember, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share because uh, we're going to be giving away some stuff and uh, if you want to be in on it, you got to be a part of it. So Trash Panda Sports, Trash Panda out.